Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to our, as my colleagues said, uh, welcome to 3.0, EVP Network Ideas of India Summit. It is said if you build it, uh, they will come. It's a line from an iconic uh, American movie about building a baseball stadium in the middle of the cornfield. When we started the Ideas of India in 2022, we were like uh, Kevin Costner in that movie. Would people come to listen to an array of speakers? Brilliant, yes. But yet another summit, usual speakers. There were many naysayers who told us we were dreaming too big. But then, what is life without reaching for the stars? So our first two editions were resounding success, thanks to all of you. And we are back again with the third edition of Ideas of India in a year of cataclysmic changes. It is a year of over 60 elections in countries across the world. With all the elections advance the cause of the democracy, we'll wait to see. But people will exercise their mandate and voice their opinions. It is also a year when temperatures will be even higher and even lower in most unlikely of places, uh, where pollutants in the air, water, and land will taint our lives, where forests will burn and glaciers will melt. It is a year when the horrors of the two ongoing war, which are destroying families and eviscerating homes, see, seems to continue. It is a year more human and animals will survive in the face of the plenty, yet it is a season of hope, resilience, and reimagination. At the Ideas of India 3.0, we are focused on people of this great nation and beyond. What are their hopes, their fears, and their aspirations? We are proud to present some of the finest names across the spectrum of emotional and intellectual engagement in this 3.0 series. The historian and political scientist Sunil Khilnani, an artist of great courage, Subodh Gupta, an actor who marches to the beat of his own drum, Amir Khan, and his creative collaborator, Kiran Rao, a poet whose songs are soundtrack of our lives, and you'll see it tonight, uh, Ajawai Dr. Saab, a popular politician and a dear friend of mine who makes sense of India to all of us, Dr. Shashi Tharoor. One of the world's finest economists, Arvind Panagaria, he is going to be here uh, speaking to you. And a top manager of India Inc. who has just taken over the FIKI president and in the history of 100 years of FIKI, he is the second professional to head it. Before that, they were all business owners and a woman who embodies beauty and multiculturalism in her work and life, Ms. Padma Lakshmi. There are others, artists, authors, scientists, politicians, admin, musicians, who will debate and discuss the issue of our time, quicken our pulses and take us into sunlight of introspection and imagination. Friends, we are at the cusp of enormous changes. I would like all of us to use these two days to think about the challenges that face us, and not merely as a country, but as a human race. Art offers us solace. Science gives us rational. And technology allows us to explore possibilities we could not even fantasize about. Do we want to be in the right side of the history? Or do we want our heads to be buried in the sand and follow the conventional wisdom? And an event like this is nothing without its audience. A stadium is nothing without its spectator. And a summit is nothing without you. Thank you so much for joining this morning. Look forward for our deliberate deliberations through the next two days. Thank you.